The Edmonton Eskimos were founded in 1949. They were Grey Cup champions 14 times. They were a franchise rich in tradition, but because of evolving social sensibilities, the organization elected to eliminate the Inuit-inspired name last July. To those who were offended by the name, we have heard you and recognize your concerns. So after a 10 month search and extensive research, the team announced its new name. With your input, much debate and deliberation, we came to the name that we are proud to present today. We are. The Edmonton Elks. So what's in a name? What's in this new name? The Elks. We checked with um, the Oxford Dictionary folks. We also checked with a linguistics expert at the U of A. And uh, it is proper, especially in a team name. And uh, it is considered a proper noun. So uh, we chose it for a lot of reasons. We, we liked how it sounded. Uh, frankly, it's more inclusive than the word Elk. The team sees some significant branding benefits with the name and the logo. We will wear the antlers on the helmets, no doubt about it. Uh, we have a nice system of logos to work with now with, uh, with our primary logo or secondary logo or a word mark, what we can do with the antler, which is what you've seen on the helmet and the refurbished double E. The Elks will have to tweak a long-standing tradition with the fight song. <laughs> We're still in the stages of figuring out exactly um, how to go about it, what words to change, what le words to leave uh, the same, but we will definitely be keeping the fight song. Ryan King's a native Edmontonian and a retired player. What does he think of the new name? I know there was uh, a lot of people involved in, in, in this name change, and I think they did a, a really good job of taking their time and doing all the work needed to make sure that it was the perfect fit, and I think they definitely accomplished that. It's been a long road. We've taken our time to make sure we got it right, and we know we did. John Sexsmith, Global Sports.